a submissive woman do for her man? Everything. Packing his bag, unpacking his bag. I, I pretty much read his mind. Like, before you can ever ask me for something, I'm already on it. He's spoiled. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. It's I your joy. It is my joy. You know, I, I love to see him eating the meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. Every night, like clockwork, I scratch this man's back to sleep. And I know when he's asleep because I can tell when his breathing changes. And some people might think that's psychotic, but that's like, I just know that's when I'm like, oh, I can stop now. But I find joy in being your rest. Tell her, whoever she is, I love her already. Nobody flirts better than a woman that has absolutely zero interest in you. So my brother, do yourself a favor and run. This, you can't just keep saying, nah, nah, it don't matter what, what y'all want. Mm -hmm. I'm still a good woman. Good to who? You have to be good to the consumer. They gotta buy what you selling. Amen. If ain't nobody yeah. buying what you selling, then what? Think about it, when you go to a job interview, right? Uh -huh. You don't come in there saying, I do marketing great. They're like, but ma'am, this is an, an accounting position. <laughs> I honestly feel like women, we are the worst when it comes to this. We are. Because dudes are telling us every day, physique is a big thing to them. But we like, oh, but I'm smart and I got a business. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> Men say, yo, we My mother told me, she said, you never hit a man where he's Never. It could be true, it could be real, but you don't hit him where he's weak because it'll turn around on you. You can get him to do what you need him to do, but you never hit a man where he's weak because they never forget it. It looks weak. Can I take a shot here? This gonna hurt somebody. Can I, I need to take a shot though. It trips me out how a certain type of person Always advertising, yeah, and all these people in my inbox, that don't happen to certain quality women. So you got to go back and see what you're saying. You got to go back and see if you have naked. You got to go back and see. That's just the truth, baby. A certain day, ain't no dude coming in no woman inbox that's a woman acting on a certain level the wrong way because they know we disqualified. We know we don't get no shot coming at you like that. Fellas, back me up on that. They like, man, you giving away game, pastor. Hey, what do you rate your game on a scale of 1 through 10? 10, for real. A 10 out of 10? Yeah. All right, so you think you should riz one of these girls up right now? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. A few moments later. Good. How you doing? <laughs> you single? Yes. You trying to follow me on Instagram? Sure. This feels so awkward. Uh, I feel like you gotta get a name. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could do that. That's I mean, what's your name? Cameron. My name is Tron. Tron? Yeah. You going a little slow. Oh. Nah, nice meeting you though. Nice meeting you. Don't act goosey. Follow me back. Alright. Because you can't get on follow. Bet. What's up, fellas? Look, we almost at 100,000, right? I need y'all to hit that subscribe button. Show your boy some love, man. Show me some support from one brother to another brother, man. Y'all know how that go. Like the video, all that good stuff. But, man, check this out, bro. If you are 80s, baby, you gotta feel like a dinosaur after watching a video like this because, you know, we come from the era where, like, you go to the mall, you don't even got a phone. You got a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. They asking for Instagrams. You get to see what she look like now, bro, before you decide if you want to fully invest. Boy, they are growing up in a time of the technological wonders of the world like it's bro like bro if you was at school and saw a girl and she looked good in her uniform you know we wore uniforms in new orleans bro and she fine in her uniform that's that's a good indicator that she probably gonna be fine all around but bro you never got to see what she looked like all dressed up until y'all went somewhere but now you go to a girl instagram page and it's all highlight her best outfits they only choose to put what they thought was the best outfit they put on up there for the world to see so now you get to see what she wears
working with we would have killed for that man the risque pictures and stuff like that that we used to have to beg for they just putting them on instagram now but shout out to that young brother he got her we know what's up hey love how you doing i think you real pretty and i want to take you out on can you pay my phone bill for me on a date tomorrow <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? If you broke, that's all you gotta say. Man, what the fuck? Let me tell you something. A woman that likes you or has any real interest in you won't even ask you for no money, bro. That's something they do to men that they don't like. That's what it is. They trying to finesse you, dog. because here's the thing. A woman who sees a man that got money and knows he got money, she not gonna ask him for the money because automatically that places her in a gold digging box right and let's say that a woman who likes a man who doesn't have money she's not gonna ask him for it she already know he doesn't have it and for two she actually likes him for him so that leaves you with a decision if a woman is asking you for money off the rip you have to make a choice are you gonna trick potentially not get a return on your investment or are you gonna just walk away from that situation and go pursue a woman who actually is showing genuine interest in you which one you gonna do? I hope you choose the last one. We all know that in college, I was known for having the bottomless esophagus, right, right? Even the napkin Americans knew about my skills, okay? Oh, 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 I knew I knew you. Damn it to hell, I knew your faith was for me to me. Man, back in the day, your wife just sucked the meanest. Well, I know you know you's a lucky man. My freshman year, there was a guy that used to supply people with snow. It's homecoming and we had just went to, you know, a napkin party and I was on my way to a cute party, I think it was. I'm with my drunk ass so-called bestie Cartier. We outside waiting for our ride, right? At my school, we had $2 beepers that would take you anywhere. Old Saint Brick and his right-hand man, the abominable snowman, walked up on us with a proposition. He told me he would give me a band if I took his homeboy for his very first sled ride, okay? I wanted a chocolate covered Chico stick that night, so I said, no, thank you. We're on our way somewhere else. Turns to Cartier and says, I have pizza and liquor she just starts walking behind him and i'm like damn i can't let her go with these two overseers by herself who knows what'll happen so we get in the room of course i stuck close to the one with the money she on the top bunk slobbing now i remember i even remember your name did you call your jaw bone wow. now look i don't know how many times i gotta tell y'all them girls with them bull rings they always be on demon time she said she got a bottomless esophagus right why does the world need to know that right but listen if you was hanging out with a woman like this bro she would give you many many reasons and signs to know that she is a bust down she just let you know how she was rocking in college and things of that nature and bro it's still gonna be men foolish enough to want to pursue a commitment from her you're never gonna get it my boy i promise you you're not she is the female version of a chad or tyrone bro you know she's a jezebel a succubus you see what i'm saying and y'all think y'all be doing something with dating women like this man she has one purpose i don't know her personally but what i'm saying is this if i saw the male version of her i would tell a woman the same thing he only good for one thing blow your back out i hope you don't expect no ring from this dude you know what i'm saying I'm going to give a fair and balanced analysis. It is what it is, bro. 